Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrap It On The Go. This process video is for 30 days of sketches hosted by Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. This is series number nine. We will be posting videos every day in the month of March of 2022. We are on day four. We are using a sketch by Brenda Ragsdale. And by the way, before I forget it, Christy has a Facebook group site and she will be releasing the sketches every day. So if you would like to create a layout and show us what you created, you can upload it over at over at her Facebook group site and I will have the link listed below along with the other individuals that are playing along and uploading YouTube videos. So this is like a hop and I can tell you right now even though you're looking at my layout the next person's layout is not going to look the same. I said that wrong. Even though we're all using the same sketch none of our layouts are going to look the same is what I meant to say. All right, so back to the sketch. So we have a title in the lower right hand corner. We have two large circle elements. We have a double dovetail banner. We have some paper layers and we have some ephemera. I selected from my scrappy stash to use products from Vicki Booten Color Study Collection. The memory that I am documenting is my little man selecting his school tennis shoes at the first of the year. So we'll come back to that. I have some scrap papers here and it looks like this one and I can tell you this was originally a 12 by 12 paper. I love this lime green. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four and a half or almost four inches by six inches left. And I have two of those if that's, and I have this little scrap paper here. We've got the stars on one side. And then we have these wonky rainbows. We have this striped paper. These cutout circles were left over from a project I did for um, documenting Christmas. I can use that on this layout. I have this branding strip for a pop of color, and then I have all kinds of ephemera in here to use. And then I have this 12 by 12 paper from the Color Study Collection. And as you can tell, it has a lot of little tiny circles. And inside those circles, it has the days of the week. So let me pause the video, create this layout, and come back. Okay, I am back with my finished layout using Day 4 Sketch as my inspiration piece. All right, let's see my finished layout. Yay! As you can tell, I use that large circle. Then I use those skinny little circles and tuck them underneath there. And I know in the beginning, I forgot to show you the embellishments that I selected from the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection. I apologize, but all of this ephemera was in that little plastic bag along with this. I did not dig outside of my kit for this layout other than my finishing touches and I'll come back to that. This moth came from the Vicki Booten collection along with this that says the wow factor which is my title. I'm using this embellishment word, word phrase as my title and then from my collection of alphas I have these like enamel domed alpha circle alphas and I got the letters to spell out yes the wow factor yes this ephemera piece right here with good day was from the Vicki Booten collection this chipboard piece here this arrow is from that collection this tag is from one of the 12 by 12 papers and I cut it out and it says simple pleasure and then I put a black enamel dot right there. So we're tying in our three areas of black enamel. Then down below the tennis shoes I have these word phrases here. 
These two word phrases are from a Coco Vanilla collection. I think it's called, what is that collection called? Shoot, I don't remember. But anyway, happiness is here. It's the little things. Then this little chipboard tab is also from the Vicki Booten collection. And then for finishing touches, I added some splatters just in this lower left hand corner and I use the Dilution Shimmer Spray in Fresh Lime and then the Dilution Shimmer Spray in Black Marble and I just did a little bit of splattering just right here in this semicircle area to draw your eye diagonally across so that your eye doesn't fall off the page because there's a lot going on and your eye is trying to find a place to rest. This stops your eye from falling off and resting at the photograph. So I use that branding strip here and then a blue kind of semi-clear washi tape right above it. And that's it. And this layout's complete. Be sure to go check out Christy's Facebook site and check out the other individuals that are uploading videos today. I will have all their links listed below, listed below in the description box. Give us a thumbs up. Most of all, get out your scrappy supplies, get out those photographs, document those memories in a fun, creative way, and come back tomorrow for day five. Bye.